Hey, welcome back to Adventure A Family Experience. I hope that you had fun last night and you don't have too much glue left on your fingers from making those binoculars or getting yarn all over you, whatever you were doing. Hope that you had a great time. Again, tonight we're going to worship and we're going to have a great time of playing a game. And we love that you are a part of this with us and thank you so much for joining us. So get ready to play a game and then we will worship. See you soon. I'm Thomas, the youth intern. I'm Jim Sigel, student pastor, and together we are known as the Game, Game Guys. Guys. And hey, we're back for night two. Do you remember that game bag that we had last night oh, that had yeah. all the prizes in it and all that kind of stuff? Well, one family has already won that, but here's the good news. We have two more. So we've got a bag for each night. Can you believe that? No, no. And it's from wow. places all over town. Now, they did tell me to take David Goddard's driver's license and credit cards out of there. Yeah, so, I figured he'd cancel those. You know? Yeah, he, I think he's already canceled them. But we're going to go into game two, and I got to tell you something. A few weeks ago, when we were all in quarantine, remember that? Can you say quarantine? Ugh. I mean, it was really horrible. I couldn't go outside of my house. Me neither. It I was, was still horrible. In early Texas. Yeah, and I and my I live with my mom. Ooh. Okay, I mean, so how uncool is that, Me too. right? Oh, you live with your mom too? Yeah. Oh, but at least I live in a cool town like Temple. Where do you live? Early Texas. Early Texas. Okay. Well, anyway, getting back to the game. Yeah. We played a game with the middle school and high school, and they absolutely loved it. And the name of the game is just called Pick Me Quarantine Edition. So here's what's going to happen. We're going to be going through, and we're going to be giving you things that you, if it's true of you, you lift a finger. Well, the idea is you want to get all 10 fingers lifted up. As soon as you have all 10 fingers lifted up, get your parents to take a picture of you with your hands up and send it to the number that is on your screen. That way we know that you are the pick me winner. And man, don't forget, you're going to get the prize package. Good luck. All right, everybody, we're going to be playing first to 10 quarantine edition. And I know you're not quarantined anymore, but remember we told you that we played this as our student ministry during quarantine, and it was a lot of fun. Oh, and yeah. everything that is in this game still applies to you right now. So we're going to be ready to play that game in just a minute. Here we go. If it is true for you, you put a finger up. And keep that finger up. Don't put it down between questions. Keep your finger up. Because the, as soon as one of you has all 10 fingers up, and for those of you that are, you know, trying to be smarty pants, that's eight fingers and two thumbs. Yeah. Okay? But if you have 10 phalanges, if they're all up, then what you want to do is you want to want to have your mom and dad take a picture of you and send it to the telephone number that is on the screen. All right, so we're going to spin, and when it lands, we're going to go through it. We're going to give you 15 different items. And by the time we're done with the 15, we should already be seeing things coming in on the phone because I'm sure some of you are already going to have done these things. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because were you perfect during the quarantine? Uh, of course not. Did you do everything you were supposed to do? Of course not. So you would have won this game. Oh, yeah, I would have gotten to eight. Then you, then you would have been able to win the game pack. Wow. We could have split some of the wow. prizes there. We that, could play that would have now been pretty fun. Yeah. No, nah, we better yeah, let them. You're right. All right, here we go. Question number one or item number one. We got to get you to see if you know what you're doing. All right, let's see. Watched a children's show. Ooh. That's, you know, I'm sure many of them have watched children's shows. I know that I watch many more children's shows than I wanted to watch. Really? What yeah. have you been watching? Well, you know, Blippi. Have you ever watched Blippi? What is Blippi? It's this dude that goes around with a goofy hat on, and he talks like this, and he goes different places, and he's good with kids, but I, you know, would kind of move my table if I saw him in a restaurant. Well, yeah, of course. You know what I mean? It's, it, he's a kind of weird dude. But I watch that a lot with my grandkids, and oh. they, they just love it. Now let's spin again. Oh. 
sang a song at the top of your lungs. Uh, ooh. I, I know I've done that. I have done this many times in my car. I'm telling you, every time I get in the shower in the morning, I got my phone blaring and I'm oh, singing yeah. along. To Baby top, Shark for sure, right? No, nah, top contemporary Christian songs on Spotify. Oh, there you go. Yeah, it's really cool, man. Good, Great playlist. You ready? Here we go. Watch the complete speech of a world leader. Ew. Ew. Have you I done that? I have not done that. Ew. I, I wouldn't Ew. have done that even on a dare. So if you didn't lift your finger up, that that's okay. Don't worry about yeah, it. I'm we surprised. didn't either. I don't think we even had that when we did it with the middle school and high school. I don't school. think we did either. Ooh, that's, that's kind of weird. All right, we'll run another one. Here we go. Ran out of power on a device. Yeah, like you're right in the middle of a game and your phone runs out or oh, your laptop runs out thing. or your iPad runs out or your Kindle runs out. I could go on forever here just yeah. listening all the different devices. You know. yeah. But, I mean, all these things, they run out. So if something ran out when you are doing it, just put your finger up. Here we go. Watched the news. Now, you may not as a child watch the news, but I know your parents are watching the news. Oh, yeah. Because they're wanting to hear what the governor has to say about this coronavirus. And I'm hoping that when you all go out in public, you're putting your mask on and doing everything to protect yourself because we don't want anybody getting hurt. And that's why we're doing our camp this way, to yeah. protect everybody, right? All right, here we go. Next one. Taking a hike outside. Ooh. I know I did that. I have too. Yeah. yeah. You know what? I even took my 84-year-old mother. She goes, I walk with her one mile three times a week. Wow. Yeah. I hope when I'm 84, I can walk. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it'd be pretty tough. Keep going like it's going. Here we go. Skipped bathing or showering for a full day. Ew. Uh. Man, if you did that, oh, Our man. middle schoolers have probably done that multiple times. Yeah, I think yeah. every middle schooler lifted oh, their finger yeah. on that one. But hey, you know what? Maybe your parents aren't making you get in the tub every day. I, I get that. But make sure you lift your hand and let you know. Now, mom and dad, don't you be lifting your fingers. That's just gross. Oh. All right, here we go. Next one. Clean your room. Ooh. Yeah, I bet you there's a lot of parents who are hoping to see fingers yes. go up on that one. They just want to see so many fingers on that. Yeah, I'll tell you. But let's be honest. Did you clean your room the whole time? I honestly did. Did yeah. you really? I made my bed every day. Oh, Thomas is one of those good kids. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Well, no matter how many times you clean your room, Thomas, you still can't win the prize pack. <gasps> so sorry about that, man. All right, here we go. We're going to spin again. Completed a craft project. Oh. Hey, you know what's cool? What? If they did the craft from last night's first night of Adventure Camp, yeah. then they can lift their finger for this. There we go. Yeah. Now, it may have some glue still on it yeah, or crayon or something like that, you know, based on what the craft was. But, hey, they did it. Yeah, especially if they lifted their finger early on that they hadn't gotten a bath since oh. last night, right? So yeah. some of that craft stuff could still be there. So, all right. Here we go. Next one. Run out of something like milk or do you see what that last one is, Thomas? Toilet paper? Toilet yeah. paper, yeah. If you run out of toilet paper, that's Please not don't. a happy day in the neighborhood, yeah. let me tell you. Okay, but some of that may have happened to you. It may have happened today. Who knows? All right, lift your finger if it's according to you. Oh, Ooh. now this is a good one. This is a good test right Been here. Been to church online as a family. Remember, Jesus is watching, okay? But have you been there to church? I've been there. Oh, yeah, I've been have there Have you been every there every Sunday. week? Every, every week? week? Every Sunday? Every Sunday. All right, I can raise my hand to that. I've been there every Sunday as well. I've even been, been to other churches online in addition to ours. Wow. So I'm I could impressed. lift like multiple fingers yeah. just there, okay? All right, good stuff. Here we go. Tried a new food. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, when you know, when it's tough to get out and to go to restaurants and things like that, sometimes mom or dad or even kids sometimes get to be a little bit creative about what they're going to eat. Yeah, exactly. Have you ever had peanut butter oatmeal? I haven't. Have the you? chocolate chip peanut butter oatmeal? No. Is it chocolate good? chip peanut butter pickle oatmeal? Ooh. 
all the good stuff, man. Just yeah. grab it all out of the Just cabinet, put it, put it in a bowl, there. slap it in the microwave for a little while. Uh, and the good thing is you want to make sure that you haven't run out of toilet paper when you try this new food. That's very true, yeah. especially Mexican. That's right. Yeah. Here we go. Cooked a meal. Ooh. Yeah. Um, my wife, I, I got to brag on her, man. She cooks for us all the time. And I know, Mom, you're watching, and either you or Dad just split it. Uh, hopefully, none of your kids are cooking the meals on a regular oh, basis. Yeah. But anyway, I know that we have cooked more in the house than we have ever cooked. And really? It's, yeah, it's just because it's more convenient. Yeah. Maybe that'll, you think that'll keep going after this is all over? Hopefully. Yeah. All right, here we go. Planned a family vacation. Where do you want to go on a family vacation? Ooh, I don't know. I feel like uh, Galveston. Galveston? How about Disney? Yeah. You don't want to go oh, to Disney? Disney would be better. Could you wow, could go in the room and hang out and get pictures with all the princesses. Exactly. Yeah. I would be super excited for that one. And you could take it to college and, and tell all the guys these are the girls you're dating. Exactly. There, there you we go. go. Yeah. Bam. All right, here we go. Visited a body of water. Hmm. Like a pool or a lake yeah. or a bathtub or I don't know. Any body of water, really. If you're a small sink. enough, then maybe you're a baby and mom made yeah. you in a sink. Yeah. Get the baby to lift the finger. Or did you wash you? dishes? All right. I go. think this is going to be the last one. All right. There All we right. go. Here we go. Slept Ooh. past noon. Yeah, I know. I've wow. done that. How about you? Have you done that? I have woken up at 12.05. 12.05. That was the latest. Now, so I have to close. say, I have to say, because my boss is probably watching this adventure thing. Oh, yeah. I yeah. never slept past noon on a work day. There you go. Right? I mean, it was Saturday, and it definitely wasn't Sunday because I was up watching exactly. our up church online. There yeah, we right. We're yeah. doing all that. So, all right. Now, here's what we need you to do. If you have a child already that has their fingers up, you should have already sent a picture to that number that's there online. Join us tomorrow night. We'll have another game for you and another opportunity for you to win the fun pack.
the great unknown will feed me
Well, here we are, guys, that big wall. Hey, Dave, why don't you come here for a second? All right. Yeah, this is a great spot for you to start really leading us on. So it's your first big challenge to get okay. us up that rock. So. Oh, Tim, what are you doing now? Uh, off, oh, it's, a, it's fake. You got to be afraid of that. <laughs> uh, oh, nothing to be afraid cat. of. Hey, buddy. You're, you're okay, Bridget. Dave. Yeah. Take us on, buddy. Okay, all right. Well, we're gonna have to work as a team to make this happen. You're gonna have to be there for each other, and you're gonna have to help so that we can get everybody up here, okay? Well, I don't we're gonna... want Jim's help. Well, oh, come on. you're gonna need playing. Jim's help. Okay, so we're gonna have to take this really slow, and we're gonna have to be really careful. You're gonna have to help each other. Yep, all right, we're ready. Good job. Thank you. All right. Okay, Bridget, Bridget, if you'll just give Jonathan your water bottle, we can get right. you up here, okay? You can do it, girl. Come on, give Bridget. me one hand. You can do it. Come on, Bridget. Come on, Come on, Bridget. Come on, Bridget. Together, we can do this. Come there you on, go. There you go. Yeah. There you go, Bridget. Yeah. Nice. Told you you could do it. Okay. All right, Jonathan. All right, here we go. Okay, here we go. Bridget, you have made it through the most difficult spot. This is the landing. This is our spot, okay? You can do this, okay? Be bold. You got this. Okay. All right. Come on. Here you go. Yay! Hey! Let's go, Bridget. You did it. Way to do it. Way to go, girl. Way to go, guys. This is awesome. Way to go, oh, conquering yeah. those fears and being brave. That is awesome. Well, it gets dark around here pretty quick, and so let's go ahead and make it up to the trees, and uh, we can set up camp there for to, for the night. And Jim, we can get you some more food. My 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 compass is broken. Every time I change directions, it moves. Oh well, hey, just stick with us, Jim. Okay, we'll oh. we'll try to fix it later on. Okay. Oh man. Okay. Uh, that's all right. Don't worry about it. You can still use the whistle. <whistles> all right, here we it go. This still works. Right. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Follow David. All right. This is the spot I've been looking for, right here. Okay. We got some good shade, some shelter. We can set up the hammock easily and the tent. So. Uh, what we need is everybody to do something. So uh, Bridget and Jim, why don't you go get some rocks for our fire ring so we can get our campfire going. Jonathan, would you get us some good wood for our fire? Absolutely. And Leanne, would you help me with the tents and uh, with the hammocks? Sure. Can I take some more pictures, please? You just go right ahead, Leanne. Yes. Thank you. We want this well documented. Okay. So Jonathan, yeah. where are the beds? Okay. The beds so. are going to be the sleep on or the rock bed? To sleep. Oh, we're going to be sleeping down over here a little bit. And up over there, we just have to find each of us a spot. All right? But first, got to get those rocks to make our fire for supper. All, all right? right? All right. All right. Here we go. Sleep on the bed. I'll put this down so I can carry some more. Don't lose that, Jim. You'll want it for later. Six. All right. Let's see how far we can go with this one. All right, I'll take that. Let's see what we got. Leanne, will you step back over to that one? And let's see if we Jonathan, can... I got a bunch of rocks. Great. Bring them on up there. I'm just trying to figure out anything that I can put None on. None of that got captured. Look like we've got it set up. That's going to work. So just put these in a circle. I guess. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. My rocks are a lot bigger than yours. Yeah. 
Well, he didn't say anything about big rocks. He said, just get a bunch of rocks to make a circle. So I'm making a circle. Oh, okay. Yeah, but Jim, look at the wood that Jonathan is getting. We've got to have we, something. Can you get smaller wood? No. Oh, we, we need this wood We need the wood all so night. that we can cook the fire, cook the food, okay, with the fire. So okay. you're going to have to get bigger rocks. So okay? how big? Like, this should be the smallest one that you get. Oh. Okay. Okay? All right. That should be the smallest one. And I, that's not where we need it because it's too close to the tree. I'll show you where we're going to put the fire ring. Wow. Hey, y'all did a great job of getting the camp set up, and Jonathan's got our food going, so looking forward to that. Uh, and I got the I know... big rocks for the circle. Yeah, Good way job, to go, Jim. Jim. Thank you for helping. Appreciate yeah. that. Ah, oh, Bridget, I was so excited that you were able to overcome your fear, and you were very courageous. And that reminds me of another story uh, in the Bible, in the book of Esther. So Esther was actually the queen king's wife, which means she was the queen, okay? And so the king and queen were married, but it was really interesting because the king never knew where Esther came from until this story happened where some people, it seems like this has been going on since the beginning of time. Somebody doesn't like another group and so they pick on them. And it seems like it never ends. And in this one, the, this guy came to the king and he said, listen, we have all these people in our community, but they really kind of stay separate away from us doing their own thing. I don't think that they want to do what we do. So can I get rid of them? And the king says, what do you mean? And he said, get rid of them, like kill them off. Uh -oh. And the king no said, well, if they're not doing what we do around here, you go right ahead. And so the king sent out that he was going to send a decree to them that they were going to take everything that they had and if they weren't willing to give it up, that they could kill them. And so the word went out across the land and Esther heard about it. And so one of her friends said, Esther, you've got to help us out. You have to be courageous, just like you were courageous today. But Esther knew what that meant. And that means that she would go to the king uninvited. Now, even the king's wife did not go to the king uninvited. Why not? Because it was their law and their rule that no one showed up unless the king invited them to come in. And if they came in unannounced, immediately he had guards there and he could either say they're okay or end their life. Mm. Wow. That's harsh. It is very harsh. And so without the king holding out his golden scepter saying that it's okay, Esther could have died. But she asked her friends Mordecai and all of their people to pray and fast for three days. That means that they didn't uh, eat anything for three days. And they just prayed. Yeah, Jim, imagine that. I need some you snacks now. It. Yeah. <laughs> Food's coming. So. And Esther and all of her friends did the same thing. They prayed and they fasted for three days. And she said, you know what? Even if I perish, it'll be okay because I went and I was trying to save my people. So she went before the king and he held out his golden scepter. And he said, Esther, my wife, anything you want, what do you want? And she said, save my people. And he did. But without Esther being very courageous, it wouldn't have happened. All the people could have perished if they decided that they weren't going to give up their possessions. So it's important for us to remember God's word where it says, be strong and courageous in the Lord. Not just kind of doing whatever we want to, but when God gives us something to do, be bold and courageous, and he will give us the strength to do that. Just like he gave you the strength to come up there. Good job, Bridget. Yeah. Way to go. Way to go. All right, how much longer for dinner, Jonathan? Well, about five minutes. Five we'll be minutes. Good, so okay. Enjoy All right. five minutes together, and I think we'll I'm going to get in a hammock. <laughs> that sounds great. So, Jim, how you doing, buddy? I'm doing all right. I want some food, though. I'm yeah. hungry. Well, you got four and a half minutes now. All right, <laughs> I'm count. All right, there you go. Oh, this is it. Not going to be any food. <laughs> yeah, probably not. Oh
And I'm Miss Leanne. And we're your craft ladies. Today, we are going to be making a campfire. So in our craft bags, we have a piece of construction paper or just printer paper. And then we have some tissue paper, like what you would wrap a present with. And it's the colors of fire, red, yellow, and orange. And you also have a little cup of glue. Now you're gonna need this glue for a craft tomorrow as well. So don't use it all, but basically you're gonna tear up your tissue paper and you're gonna glue it on to look like fire. We even included some wood. Thank you guys so much for watching today and we'll see you again tomorrow. Bye. Hey, thanks again for being a part of our adventure family experience. Uh, tonight was a great night. I love those songs and I love worshiping and what an incredible story. Well, I hope that you have a good time, get some rest, and we will see you again tomorrow evening, seven o'clock right here. 